picture, truly one of the most unusual ever filmed, contains scenes which under no circumstances should be viewed by anyone with a heart condition or anyone who is easily upset. Secondly, and most importantly, I'd like to say that you must disgust me. <laughs> You're goddamn right, I said it. If you do just one of the things I was sworn to secrecy to, you would buckle under the goddamn pressure. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, like what? So I might as well introduce you to a good friend of mine, Bibble. Bibble, come on up here. Oh, my God. <laughs> America, this is Bibble. Bibble is a space creature that lives very far away in a galaxy called Nebulon 5. And he is solely responsible for the wave of technology we've seen over the last few decades. Cell phones, pages, PlayStation 1 and 2. You might think it was the Japanese who were responsible, but anyone in the know knows that it was Bibble, for shizzle, and all about Bibble. Because only Bibble can keep it so real. When it comes to aliens, uh, there are some things I just can't tell you uh, on air. When it comes to aliens, uh, there are some things I just can't tell you uh, on air. <laughs> but what what is true, uh, and I'm, I'm actually being serious here, is, is that um, there are... Uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. Yes, you guys! Former President Obama is all but confirming the existence of UFOs with greater maneuverability and speed than anything that exists in the U.S. military. And he says they must be taken seriously. His comments come days after a Navy fighter pilot revealed airmen have seen unknown aircraft off the Virginia coast every day for two years. And this comes ahead of an expected report from the Pentagon on unexplained sightings that one former official says will, quote, shock people. Okay, Juan, I have to start with you because you've been subjected to me talking to you about this for so long. You know I am all in. I love this so much. Even going back to Buzz Aldrin, who said the probability of extraterrestrial life is, quote, almost certain. Everything from naval fighter pilots uh, to Avi Loeb and and so many more. Tell me you're into. Yeah, why not? It's so much fun. You know, I think that <laughs> Americans love this story. This is a story that could bring us together. I mean, really. So my thoughts are that, of course, the government hides classified information from the masses, from the public. They don't want to cause a mass hysteria, but also the government has lied to many people. Um, that's just history. That's just facts. But it's quite interesting how people are labeled crazy 
or a conspiracy theorist. Now all of a sudden the government is trying to come out and say UFOs are in existence when people for centuries been claiming UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Now that they say that there are UFOs, quote unquote, now it's considered legit or credible. Just like, you know, the government wants you to take. See, my question is, you have all these celebrities and minstrels like Stephen A or certain rappers that want to promote the. And then there, where's the data at? Where's the imperial data? Another question is, how are we high in COVID when we're not even in the lines or taking the clinical trials? or whatnot. So how's that data proven? But yet you have your celebrities, your minstrels on TV giving this false information like we are the leading people in the COVID. It doesn't make any sense. And the numbers, I believe, are fabricated. Government. They're working for in agencies of the government. That is supposed to be protecting of the people, by the people, for the people. How did it all turn upside down? Disinformation is designed to appeal to the person that it's operating on. The more dramatic you can be appealing to that prejudice the better you're going to get your hooks into the person you're trying to get in paul menowitz's case he was talking about ufos and so if the air force wanted his full and undivided attention they would talk ufos with him which is exactly what they did <laughs> benowitz was filming really highly strange craft then counter intel's job is to come in and muddy the waters to make him look like a fool and one of the cover job it's been a cover story in the u.s for a long time tell the media tell anybody who will listen that they're using ufos to cover up advanced technology when the truth is exactly the opposite of the words
once someone brings up such ideas seriously, what you find is the serious media says, well, you've been watching too many movies. So in a sense, you could argue that the movies are used to uh, inoculate the public against these truths. You could argue that the movies are used to uh, inoculate the public against these truths. demonstrably false UFO stories become inoculations. When the doctor inoculates you from a disease, he gives you a little bit of it, and then your body's immune system recovers, deals with it, and now, now you're kind of immune to it. Right away, and I gotta spend some time with that too. Some of you have dropped out of some of your churches, not because you didn't love the choir, not because you didn't love the fine clothes, not because you didn't like the people, but the soul food was missing. It was not cooked right. You now, once you get the good soul food, the old soul food goes away and you start searching for a different cook. Well, we are the cooks. We must prepare our own food. Therefore, nobody can take anything away from thou and thee that present and prepares your own table. No longer will they be able to take away a church or a leader. You will become the church and the leader. You always were, you just didn't know it. Now you must awaken to that concept. And for those of you, be they mother, father, sister, brother, husband, or wife, cannot take that stand with you. Do not denounce them, but do not wait for them. The planet needs you now. <laughs> Two in the field, one chosen, one called, it's happening. How do you make contact? You want to, with all your heart and all your soul. And then you get the right contact. Other than that, you might get what they call an abduction. Like many of the United States government people are abducting people and blaming it on aliens because they do have spacecraft now and the time for the showdown is at hand. If you do not cloak yourself in truth, if you do not have a core that cannot be shaken under the worst oppression, where fear enters in and causes you to lose your electromagnetic field, you will suffer physical harm. If you can become so resolute and so believed and so believed in your Creator and vibrate and do the things that at least you can do to dial the number for the Creator, you will have confidence that will grow on a minute-to-minute -minute basis until you will feel that you can contact your Creator alone. If this gives you problems, that's okay, but you're not ready. If it doesn't, and you know inwardly that you should be able to do that because inwardly you feel that you do have the potential to be a God, and I did not say a universal prime Creator, I said a God, then go for it. Because now is the time.